Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. Hey there, team, and welcome back today. We're reviving Farming Simulator 19. It's very exciting stuff. On the back of, well, I mean, in this cycle of my games, around probably about every week or so, I do like to go into my older backlog that I'm not tracking in the current sort of iteration, and uh, I bring some things back that have been on the channel, and this is a game that we've been meaning to head back to. And uh, it's also free on the Epic Store right now. I strongly suggest everyone go and get it because I am someone that looked at this game back in the day and thought what a what a joke I'm never gonna play a farming game or anything like that and I absolutely loved it it was one of my most favorite sneaky sort of secret games of last year so I would say go and get it now if you're curious nowhere is it written but I've tested it out because I had some mates get it as well it's got cr cr uh, cross platform pay play oh my god use your word scarlet between Steam and Epic so my mate got the free Epic copy, and I used my Steam copy because I already have like Platinum version on that, and you could still play because the servers are hosted external to the actual launcher. So that's very interesting as well. So there's no reason not to get it and get farming. So I thought, hmm, I'll bring this back. I'll start up a new farm. I've done it on the super hard mode, which is uh, I start with, look, I've only got 500,000 fake Euro dollars. Um in capital, which is very, very little. So we will see what we can, what we can do with that. Am I getting lag? Why am I getting lag? Oh, you know what? It could be a keyboard thing. Anyway, um, that's okay. We will persevere. So, essentially, this is uh, Farming Sim 19. Um, if you haven't seen it on the channel, I've covered it quite a bit before. It's a fantastic game. It sort of fits in very well with all the other awesome little things that I play here as well. Yeah, look, that's just my keyboard being a bit a little bit silly. And um, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So we're going to give it a go and start over. Now, apparently, the news is, at least I, I saw some tweets coming out of their account, that they're not actually going to be doing a farming sim this year. They may have been referring to the sort of uh, the farming sim 20, because uh, farming sim 20 is a mobile uh, game. It was never going to be a PC game, because they've got the new generation of consoles coming, and they sort of want to see what happens with that. So, I'm not sure if that's a neat, fresh take, or, like, are we going to miss out for another year? Regardless, we've got plenty of time to get into this. And I sort of know the ropes a little bit, and I played some this afternoon with my mate on his new farm. So, we're going on this map. Oh, I like this map. I'm familiar, but there is another one, and I suppose you could download things. Look how huge some of these fields are. But, no, we're going to go down here, because I'm familiar with this bit of land. I've done it sort of here before. How much does that cost? Look at that. 362000 of my 500,000. It's not cheap. Is is there a cheaper way to go about this? That's That land there is cheaper. 200,000? What about there? Oh, yeah, that seems fairly cheap as well. For one big plot of land. Like, oh, yeah, look at that. That one. And that's right in the sort of heart of it. Oh, yeah, I should be looking at these. These are probably more sensible, aren't they? Yeah, probably. Look at this nice little strip there. That's lovely. It's right in the heart of town. Oh, man. We might do that. All right, I'm going to buy that little spot of t uh, land there. Because the other thing is we're probably going to need a silo and we're probably going to need a farmhouse. We're definitely going to need these things. Um, and they're not cheap. So, uh, I now have that. Great. All that money's gone. Um, now, restaurant and spinnery. Look what's really... These things are all quite close. Here's an idea. Let's have a look. Uh, what's the restaurant buying? That. Whatever that is. It looks like a knuckle duster. I don't know. We'll figure out what that crop is. Yeah. What's the knuckle duster crop? If we go here, we should be able to figure it out. It's one, two, three, four, five along. Wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans. Yeah. Wait, is that corn? There, next to it. Okay, soybeans. Any, I don't think there's anything particularly sexy about soybeans. It doesn't say down here any particular... 
I think I think we should be all right. We should be all right. If we just go to the store quickly, a lot of these uh, shortcuts and that you'd get used to. The, like any sort of hardcore sim, there's a lot going on. And I'm not even close to an expert, but I, I know my part here. What I'm curious about here is sort of like, um, is this soybean technology? I don't think there is. It doesn't look like it. But if we go to, say, like planters, um, where are my knuckle dusters? There they are, there. Okay. It seems like a, a, a reasonable crop. It worries me that it's popping up with cotton. I've done a little bit with cotton, enough to know that cotton's a pain. Oh, it's in there as well. Okay. Okay, we should be all right. So what, I reckon we're going to we're gonna do um, soybeans just because um, our new property by the map is here and it trades well there. And, and that would be a nice little short trip. Makes sense to me, right? All right, well, we're going to need to go and inspect the grounds, I think. And so the first thing we probably want to do is we'll get a ute because... Oh, what is this? Mod. Is that because of... Like, I haven't downloaded anything. It must be because of the, uh, the new sort of... DLCs that I have. Oh, no. oh, okay. It says mod. Interesting. So maybe it is from like the workshop or something. Hmm. Not sure. Well, I'm not really that interested in, in that. That's fine. We're going to get the pickup. Uh, let's change. No, we'll change the main color. Should we? Oh, let's get something a little scarlet. Ooh, yes. So we'll lease that. 2,000 bucks. I mean, I, I should probably think about paying for these things properly uh, given that we're playing on this difficult mode but oh please start the engine first jeez okay how do I even do that enter okay all right everyone it's under control don't worry about it so if we hit that map that's where I am at the shop we're gonna go there down the street I think just cutting straight down cross country is gonna be the best you know what I mean the best go for us it's not like we have any closer road access all right So let's go check out the new plot of land, eh? This is very exciting. Oh, okay, you can see it on the minimap. We're at plot 21. I wonder, I don't think you, I'm, well, I don't think, I don't know actually if you can sort of pave your own roads or anything like that. Oh, that's troubling. There's quite an incline there. That could cause all sorts of trouble. Oh, lucky we're scoping it out with my, with my ute. Well, what's going on here? Wheat that's ready to harvest, but needs ploughing. Now, I did notice... Oh, actually, no, it should be alright. I think we were having some trouble with pre-existing crops. Me and my mate. But the fact that it's already got this ready to harvest wheat, it oh, it's probably worth considering. Um... As long as I can get a harvester that also harvests what I wanted to harvest, which was uh, soybeans or whatever it was. I remember the symbol. All right, so if we go to harvesting technology, harvesters. There you go. It harvests knuckle dusters. And one of those will be, that's probably wheat by the look of it. I mean, I could check just to be doubly sure. Again, I am a tad rusty. Yeah, that one there's wheat. Very good. Okay, cool. Well, I suppose one of the first things we want to pick up now is we'll get a harvester because we'll clear this land away. I can't see why we can't just use this first one. 84,000 euro dollars. Um, oh, that's right. You've got all these. Yeah, mod. Mod. Are you part of the class pack? See, that says class pack and that says mod. Interesting. Not 100% sure, guys. But that's okay. All right, we'll get this thing, this Bison Super. Look at this thing. You're going to... Jesus Christ, look at it. I would. This makes me want to really go out there and check out what modern industrial farming is like. Because uh, it, it is quite fascinating, all this. Now, you have to put a header on these things, and that's the matching header there. That's the same model, the ZZ056. And there you go. It does exactly what we're going to want later, and it does what we've got at the moment. So we're going to 
we're going to harvest this uh, this wheat and then sell it off, and then we're going to get going on the new uh, the new thing. All right, so what's our balance? See, I'm even going to lease this header. At this point, I just don't have enough capital. I want to be safe. All right, cool. Now, before I go there, I'll do a quick lap around. Oh, look at that, and we've got that huge sort of incline around the back as well. Now, I know we're driving through our neighbor's yard here, but is there perhaps like a... Uh, there's a road here, and this is where you unload at the, uh, well, the restaurant, actually. So this might be... That might be our point of entry that we, you know, our sort of point of ingress that we use instead of going up the edge. Um... I mean, potentially we could go around the back there as well. Hmm, okay, cool, good to know. So here we go. Uh, please start the engine, yes, yes. So I'm in my new harvester. Ugh. Come on, baby. So we'll put the header on the harvester. Oh, goodness. Off we go, baby! Alright, cool. I'll tell you what, there's something cool about this game. So, I, I've often, um... I've had my concerns about uh, a game that's purely sandbox. Why are you slowing down? Oh, again, we're going to have to look at this keyboard and see what's going on. Sorry, team. Um, I have my concerns about pure sandbox, right? Because I uh, I struggle when I don't have things to do. I've seen guys having almost similar problems with their like their, their station ears. They'll comment on my video and say, you know, you got any suggestions on what I could do next? Um, because they feel that they've sort of you know they've run out of the uh, ideas. So I guess then at that point you sort of make your own tasks and you know each to their own but not all of us are that so creative and the thing I really like about this farming sim is it is a zen garden that is never ever gonna be finished there's always something to do like you will never run out of things to do in this game and uh, I love it so it is pretty open sandbox in a way but at the same time, you still need to be working the markets and trying to get a profit and make money to get ahead. Like, I guess pure sandboxes, you wouldn't you wouldn't be running out of money. Um, all right, so we should be able to just get this going. So we've hired a little dude, and off he goes. He's going to be uh, doing that. Oh man, this is this is my old uh, this is my old sort of business was doing the wheat. So I'm pretty familiar with all this. Now it does say needs plowing all that. That's fine. Again, we just want to get this wheat off the top. You can see it sort of incrementally ticking. It's like a server tick of the sun moving. It's very interesting that. It's like a time increment. Now, what we could do is pick up this uh, this chaff and sell it as well. I've done that before. In fact, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, so we'll we'll get a uh, what do you call them? It's a it's not a trailer. It's a loading wagon, right? So it's essentially a wagon with a scoop on it. Um, well, they have all these fancy terms, but ask Scarlet, and I'm like, oh, it's got this scoop thing on it. So this is the one I've used before because it's cheap. So we will do it again. Now, obviously, I'd, I'd love to be uh, paying for all this in pure profit or, you know, like actually not leasing and buying this stuff outright. But at this point... Oh, wow, it loves turning my engines off. At this point... No bingo. Uh, I'm just going to keep leasing until we get into some sort of rhythm. Uh, 
Um, I can get through to the shop up here. Nice. Alright, so we'll go chuck the loading wagon on the back of this. Oh, actually the loading wagon might be a little bit too heavy duty for this thing's horsepower. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Alright, let's go here. Yeah, I don't... Mm, yeah, mmm. I don't know about this. Let's give it a go. We might need to chuck it on a tractor, which isn't the end of the world. Well, that doesn't look comfortable. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not gonna happen. All right, let's uh, let's jump in the shop. We'll get ourselves a brand spanking new tractor. Hey, what do we want to get? Oh wow, that's got lower horsepower then. This tractor can also attach a front loader. Ah, interesting. Okay, so that's the disadvantage with this one. He, he's got a bit of oomph. Um, doesn't really have much pace, actually. It's quite slow, isn't it? This is so interesting. So they don't really go past 50 kilometers an hour. Interesting. So we can get this for 50 uh, and and the horsepower's down sort of there. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to give this one a go, the Fent, because um, the 500 favorite. And you can change all sorts of crap on it, but we're just going to go with this for the moment because I want a fast little tractor and we'll see if we run into horsepower problems. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Where'd you put my tractor game? There it is. Nice. So this one's got a bit of go. Start the engine. Off we go. Look, he's not having any trouble pulling on that, so that's good. Because, uh, I mean, we've, we've uh, done well to have this bit of land so close to the shops. But quite often, ferrying a lot of this heavier equipment back and forth, it probably wouldn't hurt to have. Oh no, I've missed my turn off. Oops. Uh, that's it. Stuff it. We'll go up the ramp. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, it probably... It, it can't really hurt to have a bit of go. Ooh! Oof! Alright, let's not do that ever again. Oh. Alright. Helper B has a nearly full grain tank. Oh, so we're going to have to deal with that as well. Alright, so we're probably going to need... Uh... I wonder what happens when he gets full up. I want to let him fill up because... Uh... Presumably he will... He will stop. Well, I don't know. That's why I want to let him fill up. Okay, so we're going to need to deal with that. Let's get a trailer. Um, I think the small trailer would will be enough. What's this puzzle piece bit here? Hmm. I think we'll be fine. All right. Lease that. So the leases give you... You have to pay... A fairly sizable initial down payment otherwise you could abuse the lease system and then you have to pay a daily tick against it it's not ideal it's a form of debt for this game but your other option is pay for everything in full cash which we we cannot do so at the moment I'm taking the lease to sort of get our rhythm going and uh, and then figure out what we do and we don't need. Probably potentially return some stuff. Helper B has a full grain of tank. Alright. So has he stopped? Let's have a look. Did I say a full grain of tank or a full tank of grain? I'm not sure. But he has stopped, so that's cool. I, I like how the helper system works in this, that they are pretty simple dudes. Alright, now, sadly, 
his pipe out is on the other side, and I do not want to damage my harvest if I can help it. So dismiss worker. We're gonna we're gonna take over here. Well, you know what? We could probably just go all the way around, like so. Don't smash the brand new car. Look at that! Alright, well, let's see if this trailer can take the entire load, because you would hope so. Looks like it's doing okay so far. I'm halfway. Oh, just let that pipe away. All right, empty, perfect. So now we will... Now, here's another test. Can I just set this helper free here? Just go higher. Well, it said completed task. Any chance? No, he's not there. All right, no, okay. So you do need to lead a horse to water, as it were. That's okay. Here will do. I'm sure he can figure that out. Yeah, perfect. He'll be right. Now, now this. Uh oh. Where are you going? Well, hey, it's worth testing these things. Now, meanwhile, we have wheat to sell. So we've got the little wheat symbol down the bottom. Saving content. Alright, so. Where are we going to sell wheat? Now this is interesting. The port grain elevator is taking it for 700. Now I don't really know if that's a good price or not. But it does say it's on the decline. So I wonder if maybe the smart move would be to actually um, silo this. How much for a silo? 110? 330 oh my goodness hang on before we go buying that we will buy a farmhouse because you have to have a farmhouse it's like how you pass time and, and that sort of stuff so okay look at him cutting sick on the All right, now what's the problem? Why why don't you like it, farmhouse? This object will collide with another object. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Oh, he shouldn't have moved. Oh, okay, it's messing with my farm a little bit. Oh, bugger. Oh, well, it's done now. The damage is done. I'm going to deal with this bloke before he upsets me anymore. Mate, just... you sacked. I know, shame on me for giving you basic instructions, I know. We'll go, we'll go actually forward to, to that bit here. Perfect. Alright, off you go. Ah! Don't run me over. Alright, $155,000, right? How much was the silo? $110,000. Holy dooly. That is cutting it fine. You know what? I'm not getting a silo. Uh, not yet. We still need to buy more equipment to actually replow this field. So, so who was buying? Who was buying best? You, the Port Grain Elevator. Alright, now where is that? This bloody place. I've had all sorts of problems loading on the train with there. Um, do I... Is there a train stop around here, though? There isn't, so I probably will just drive straight. Okay, so if we get out of here, we go up the restaurant, go down to the shops. Oh, yeah, we can we can just stay on this side of the, of the suburbs, on the south side. Yeah, okay, cool. Got it. 
Man with a plan. Okay, so that one... One, uh... Ugh. Oh, he's gonna have... Oh my god, he's gonna have a hard time with that. Hang on. I've changed my mind on you. Just because I can see... I see drama a coming when it comes to my farmhouse. Can you can you cut this way, mate? Nice. All right. Oh, we can squeeze around the back here. Got a few trees to cut down. I'm so I'm terrible at cutting trees. I tell you that much. That that, that is a whole art form in and of itself. Alright, so at some point we're going to delete that farmhouse and move it, probably when we buy more land or something. I don't think we have a lot of choices at the moment. We'll see what money we can get for this pre-existing wheat. Off we go. Yeah, this game is zen as anything. You can do, you can look after farm animals and do all their produce. You can mow grass and sell that. Um, you can do contracts for other farms. I'm not really a big fan of all that. I just like growing my own little empire. But this harder, difficult... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Look, as long as... As long as my... Oh, my goodness. Come on. Look, just let me get around. Just let me get around. There we go. As long as I haven't lost this... Oh, for crying out loud, you fathead. I really need to watch the front wheels. That helps me. There we go. That's better. Nearly has a full grain of tank. Full grain of tank. There we go. I did it again. Um, as long as my trailer load is intact, I'm a happy boy. All right, we'll go sell this. Let's go. We'll see what it does to the price. The price is already sort of tanking a little bit, as it were. What's the best way in here? I think, uh, maybe... Yeah, here we go. Oh, no train sim symbols going off, so I think we're alright. Where's the, uh... Is it around? It's, yeah, it's this part here. Okay. Haven't been up here in a long time. Ah, there we go. So we should be able to pop it... ...in here. Now, does this just silo it up, or can we sell it here? I can't... This I'm not sure of. Wheat. Start overloading. Uh, we'll see what happens when it finishes if we get money. There we go. Two and a half grand. Eh. And then, let's see what the market's done. Well, it hasn't, doesn't seem to have affected it at all. But I guess that will tick down in its own time. All right. So now, we head back. What's going to be the easiest way to head back? It's got a full grain tank. This is cool dealing with a larger field. I'm used to dealing with the smaller ones. Now I think on on efficiency, I need to perhaps even reconsider. Well, as to reconsider what's going on here and what I'm doing because I've just. In the time it's taken me to run one load, he's managed to uh, get filled up yet again. Um, so it would probably make sense to have a larger trailer and just fill it up each time. Well, in an ideal world, we'd have a silo, wouldn't we? Hmm. Hmm. So maybe, maybe I need to reconsider the size of the trailer. But then again, that might be a problem because I don't own... Because you can own, like, trucks, like semis and that sort of stuff. So maybe that's the option next. 
but we also have a very small sort of area to maneuver here so even though this is going to have me running back and forth a couple of different loads this might still be our best effort the main issue that I have is that he has to stop to pipe out and that's a little you know we want him stopped as little as possible basically alright cool so yeah, that's where we're at, basically. Um, and then I was I'm, I was going to use that thing in the distance to scoop up all this as well. So we've got plenty of work to do. Holy heck. In fact, what I would ultimately want to do is pipe this out and then run that machine. You know, I want to do as much man work as I possibly can that the AI can't do. And so I probably just need a new trailer. I might just bite the bullet and get a new one and see what happens. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. Let me know what you reckon, because I'd be quite happy to pick this up. Last time we were playing it, it was fairly good on the channel, and uh, I was very newbie, so I've learnt a lot of stuff from that. Um, so I guess we could probably get to the mid-game without too many troubles. Um, but yeah, let me think. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, I might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.